buddy Brandon Parker back again with another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a store for your website using PayPal. I'm going to show you how to do that right now, right here. Okay. First, make sure you create a PayPal account. And once you create your PayPal account, you see all this uh, my account, sign money request, whatever. Click on the merchant service tab right here where it says merchant services. And once you clicked it, you'll be sent to this right here. It'll say buy now, add to cart. Send invoice all this and then it'll say right at the bottom right here uh, Add to cart buy now and then a special button for donation if you want uh, For people to donate if they want to donate to your website or whatever all that And you probably see a lot of this on uh, different websites like I'll, I'll go to my website Show you on my website okay and this is mine what I have is a donate button That's all I have for right now and my store doesn't really have anything on it I'll show you that doesn't have anything on it. My store is pretty pretty empty right now. There's nothing Nothing uh, I have no products to sell right now on my website yet uh, Okay, but and then I'm using like a special plugin for it So it, it's designed a little differently, but a lot of what I do is still uh, through PayPal all this right here But I'll show you okay right now Okay, and then uh, you can create a buy now button if you want uh, someone to buy. You can also do an add to cart, selling multiple items, something. You might have to create a different page for each thing that you're trying to sell and you're trying to direct uh, each person to. So you can go to uh, like item name. Uh, I'll say chair. Okay. Right here. Okay, item price. I'll say $50 for this. Okay. Okay, I want it to be fifty dollars. USD stands for US United States dollars. Okay, right here. You can uh go into more detail with it, how you're gonna sell it. You can uh even um uh, direct them to a different page. If you're gonna direct them to a different page, uh when they uh uh cancel their checkout, maybe you want to direct them uh to a cancellation spot, uh create another page for that. Uh, maybe you want to direct them to a successful page saying it successfully went through you got to create a page for that and just put in successful whatever you want to say on that page okay uh, if you want to do that but since I don't feel like doing that right now and, and this is just an example of what your site uh, can do with your website creating a store so I'll go to just create the button okay then this is the code so I'll click here, it's all highlighted. I'll uh, leave that like that. Then I'll go back uh, to right here and open up your uh, editing uh, notepad, text edit, whatever. Mac or Windows uh, notepad is for Windows, Mac, text edit. Uh, right here, since I'm using Dreamweaver, uh, I'll be doing it here. So I'll go to HTML. We're gonna uh, already. I'll just go to file, uh, open a uh, recent one, which is the store. I already did this. Okay, and I already have it coded a little bit. I'll uh, go to store page. Uh, that's the title of it. Then I'm linking it uh, image SRC, linking it to uh, redchair.jpg. Then this is the coding that I grabbed from the PayPal. All this right here. And you could uh, add another one. I'll say I'll add another image. I'll try to add. Uh, I'll just add like. We'll link it to this uh, game system. Okay, yeah, I'll link it to this. Uh, let's see. Paste this. Link it to game system. I'll show you that it works. Okay. Uh, I'll say X Xbox. Uh, Xbox. Okay. Xbox. Okay. And then I'll search for that. So I don't have an image of it right now. I'll go to, uh, let's go to Google, search for the image real fast. Search for an Xbox. So we're going to go to images, Xbox. Okay, maybe you're trying to sell an old Xbox. So look for an old Xbox. Maybe you're trying to sell an old Xbox. You don't want it no more. It still works, but you don't want it no more. You don't use it anymore. So you might want to sell it on your website. So here you go. Here it is, okay, full size, we'll save this. Save image as, we're gonna save this. Uh, to store on the images page, okay. We're gonna rename this uh, X, just Xbox. Okay, save it, and it's just Xbox. Okay, and then we go to here, okay. Xbox JPEG, all this should work, right here. Okay, we're gonna go to file, 
save. Okay, close out of this. Okay, then we go to the store. Click on, double click it, and this is what it should look like. See all this right here. Now it's kind of a little messy, a little bit. They're all, all uh, going vertically instead of horizontally. You can add a table to make them go vertically. You can change the size of the image. You might want to have it a bit bigger, depending on image size. Maybe you might want to uh, image size it. You, you can do whatever you want with it. You can add tables to it if you want it to be all in uh, all in the table. We'll go to uh, File and we're going to uh, let's go to Open and Reset this. You can add add a table for this. Say you wanna. Oh, actually, this is the head is the, uh, area uh, right here. So we gotta copy all this. Okay, copy, delete this. Go back on this. Make sure it's all in the body area. Okay, this is the body. Okay, paste this. Okay. Okay, that's how it should look. Okay, in the body. Okay, but we don't want the table up there like that. Sorry about that. Okay, uh, paste. Okay, there we go. Right there. Okay, table, table. Then once we do the table, you're going to want to add a table data. TD for table data. If you don't know that. Okay, table data. Okay, where do you want to end the table data? Maybe you want to end it, the table data here. Okay, table data here. We, we end it here. And that table data. You can uh, make rows. Every every table data, you're ending, you're, you're making a new row or something. So... For every three, every every two, so I'd say every two we end the table data, uh, or, or table row actually table day table data. This is table data. The end of that table data. Okay, table data. Okay, right there. Uh, this we're gonna add a table row. Table tr tr for table row. So tr for table row. Okay, table row. Where do you want it to end? Okay, this is the first one. Okay. Okay, this is the second one. Okay, you want the second one to end. Okay, every two, so table row. Okay, we want the table row to end there. Okay, it already knows that. This is Dream Weaver, so it's automatically doing it for me. Okay, now we're going to add a new table. Okay, right there. There it is. Okay, um, and then we're going to end. Okay. Table data, we want a new table data, and we're in the table data right around and uh, before the end of the table. So table, table, well, we have to end it there. Okay, we want to end the table row uh, right before that. Oops, not after that, but before that. Okay, before that, we, we, we end the table row. Thinks I wanted a table data, table row, I meant. Oh, we, we had to just start a new table row, that's why too. So table. Row, table, row, right there, like that, like so, okay, like that, like that, okay, yep, table, actually you start the table row before the table data, yeah, I forgot that too, table row, then the table data, table data, there we go, okay, yep, table row, and you end the table data before the table row. Yes. So take that from a R to D. Okay. Like that. Okay. So okay. So it's uh like this. All this right here. Let's see how that's gonna come out. It should. It all should work. Right here. Okay. File save. Okay. And then we're gonna close out of this. Make sure I do that. And then right there. Okay. See, it's all on the table now. Now it's on uh, rows. This, this row uh, has two right here, this one uh, and this one would be, but since the images are, are different in size, it's probably why it looks like that. Uh, so that's what it looks like. You can have all the items right there. There's the button, button right there like that. Oh, you can, uh, like there, like that. Depending if you just play around with the table and everything, how you set it up and everything like that. This is how I did the table, so that's why it looks like this. 
and you'd be more uh, if you add CSS coding and all that. But I'm not gonna go all into that. I just showed you a little bit how to do a store. So that's pretty much it on this tutorial. Uh, how to create a store using uh, uh, PayPal a little bit. How that works a little bit. Uh, I just added this, uh, all that, all that right there. Uh, make sure let's go back to this. Open with. Uh, make sure that uh, you just. Uh, oh, then this. Sometimes and the, what I like about Dreamweaver too, it tells you what you did incorrectly. Like sometimes I was doing this uh, too fast a little bit, so that's why I had some errors. Uh, and that's uh, just what you see here. Uh, what's on top is the image uh, linking code to the image. Uh, that's like the image you can see is right here. You see all this right here. We're going to live view this. You can see all this right here, right there. A little bit. And that's pretty much it. There's a table, table data, table, table row goes before the table data. You always remember that. Always remember to make the table row. And it did that automatically. I did not want that. Okay, table, table row comes before table data. And table data does not end there. Sometimes Dreamweaver will automatically uh, screw it up for you. Like that, okay? Like that, that's how it should look. So first is table, table data, table row. Then your image linking code. Uh, that's only if you want a table. This, okay, so right there, like this, all that you see here. Then this right here is the coding from uh, PayPal that you grabbed. Uh, right here, we'll go back to PayPal. Okay, we'll go back to PayPal. This is the coding right here that you grabbed. We have it right there. Right here, we have it right here. And that's it. Uh, I hope you got what you're looking for in this tutorial. And building a website with a store on your website and everything. I uh, hope you got what you're looking for, and that's it. And it's just a little bit of an example of what you can do. Uh, if you if you want to do a little more, it, it also depends on uh, your uh, hosting a little bit. Cause like on mine, I think I'm gonna have to get a dedicated server where where I can upload like larger images and everything. Cause me, I use WordPress, so it's a lot uh, more complicated than uh, HTML. And uh, with PHP and WordPress and everything, it helps you out a lot more to uh, like blogging and all that and to sell stuff on your website and all that. And it's more popular for doing that and stuff. So they have special plugins that help you out that, uh, that are already coded and you don't have to do much of the work. That's why I say it's better to uh, use something like WordPress because static, uh, basic uh, static HTML uh, stuff is kind of... Uh, it takes a lot of time coding and it's kind of, uh, you can't really do much with it, but you can do like just some like basic stuff with it. It's just what I just showed you here in this tutorial. And that's it. I hope you got what you're looking for. Like I said, uh, see you later. And uh, that's it. And please check out my website, pixelpocketmedia.com. I do uh, uh, upload all my tutorials there. I, I upload uh, all my videos for my second channel, which is Spinox. I'm going to be turning my third channel, which is Fantastic Art, which was my band video channel. I'm going to be turning that into a gaming channel. So if if you have uh, questions on what games you want to see me do, uh, I'm thinking about starting off doing like something, uh, the classic games that I used to have, like I used to play Ninja Turtles. I used to play uh, Mario and all that. I used to play um, Jurassic Park and all those from uh, Nintendo and all that. Sega, Sonic, and all that. So if you want to see me, uh, whatever you have suggestion, Legend of Zelda, I might be doing a little bit on that too. Uh, game playing videos with that a little bit. I'm a fantastic art. So I'm going to be deleting uh, my fan videos there uh, after I upload my first gameplay video there when I decide I, uh, when I'm ready to do it. And that's it. Don't forget to check me out. Facebook, Masterson88. Twitter, Magic Slider, and that's it. See you later, and that's it. Come, come.